precautions and stuff, but if that is the case, we do want to go to the coming. Right, yeah, definitely. But I have like shit everywhere. You can't walk in and he's like, you look like a mess. Like, you have stuff everywhere. I'm like, yeah. I hope to see you there as well. That would be so much fun in Dokumi. Um, we're, we're actually thinking of bringing Demon Kudo to Dokumi. But a new design of him. So I'm really curious. I have no patience. This shit has to dry. And I'm just like, I'm impatient. Oh, this is nice. Oh, 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 oh. You see me every day on your for you page for real? Am I am I on for you page? Oh yeah. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> we will cry together, Jesus, you definitely. And it went like this. So <laughs> and take a picture of the me if I'm allowed. Of course. <gasps> Wait, God. Oh my God. So we're bringing the SWAT to uh, Dokuni and the uh, demons. It's gonna be high queue all weekend. <laughs> to Demon Kudo because so many of you guys followed me because of it um, and it's just like it gave me good memories oh I mean why not both are you going two days to Dokumi or one day because you can do both Aikawa and Kenma oh you guys are so sweet I love your videos thank you um, I actually I have a YouTube but the YouTube that we use more for our videos is Deska's YouTube I could do on Friday camera or a camera before 
paper sh oh that is really cool that is really really cool i don't know when we are going to be there exactly we didn't really think about a time yet uh thank you sir for the for the gift
want you to be 18 plus just because it is uncomfortable to have minors do adding 18 plus comp uh, content besides your student um but apart from that like anything that's not 18 plus you can anyone there's no age limit to that how long have you been cosplaying i've been cosplaying for about like six years now i think soon because we're doing a really really cool project with uh, several creators um, but at the moment we're waiting for an update on TikTok for, before we release that um, but at that point Midoriya is going to be coming back yeah my first cosplay my first cosplay was um, Lucy Art Freely up from Fairy Tale how did I become a cosplayer um uh, before I started cosplaying, I was a digital artist. I did um, character design, um, and for my art, I was constantly at events, um, and I was selling my art there. And I saw cosplays, and I was like, "Oh, this looks so weird! I love it!" Um, so then I started cosplaying myself, and it hit up really, really fast. Um, I had a teacher. Well, I mean, for me, he was my teacher. Uh, he was also my best friend. And he taught me everything about making costumes, and we worked together, and got um, yeah noticed by Blizzard. And at that point, things just skyrocketed. We were invited to America, to Egypt, to Spain, uh, Japan, and and yeah, I didn't stop cosplaying after that. Ah, oh, Seth, thank you so much for all the gifts. You're so sweet. Such a major inspiration to me. Me and Sophie, thank you for your great content. Thank you. Oh, you guys are really sweet. What is your favorite thing about cosplay? Um, there are several things I really like about. Spanish. Um, 
and I also understand German a little when they speak slow because of the Dutch because it's quite similar. I didn't know you speak Spanish. Your voice in Spanish is so sweet. Aw, thank you. It is so funny because I, I often hear this that my voice changes um, in the languages that I speak. Like in Spanish, it's a lot like high pitch, more high pitch. Um, in Dutch, it sounds. I, I don't like my voice in Dutch. <laughs> tag me in it because I want to appreciate you guys. Um, we do that ourselves. So Jessica and I film the two of us, which is why it's so, um, so uh -uh. special to us because Lay down. literally every shot you see is just us. Mm -hmm. So we have to find like creative ways to really make it work so that we can do it with the two of us, even though when we're both in the shot. Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> Saka, give me motivation to continue on cosplay because I've been lazy. Oh, baby, I was I was just working on cosplay and I just stopped altogether because I'm like, it's too hot and I just want to be here with you guys. So I'll send all my energy to you so that maybe you can do it instead of me. <laughs> Who is Did it send? Send. Who's your favorite character in My Hero Academia? Um, okay, like daddy wise, <laughs> it is Hogs. It is and not and sending. Mirko is like, like, oh man. Um, and then, like, character wise and stuff, like, not necessarily that I would fall in love with or anything is Dick. Why? Mostly to um, pay for the bills because we do this as a full time job. So, everything that we earn from cosplay goes back into paying the bills, paying the uh, for Where's the materials for costumes and stuff like that. So then it's easier if you're just with the two of us, otherwise you will have to like pay the one who is filming as well. And we're not big enough for that yet. We're not earning enough for that yet, so. Where do you get your wigs? Because I really don't know where to get them. Um, different places. A lot of the time, most of the time I actually get them off Amazon. Um, and I just look for them at Amazon. 
Um, I also get that from Wicked Wicks sometimes, um, or just like Google for the best wigs. Like if it's really a character specific wig, I always Google it because there's like different stores there and then I spend hours just searching through reviews to see which one is the best. Which anime do you like best? At the moment I'm obsessed with Haikyuu and Boku no Hero Academy, obviously. Uh, thank you! I have like, I was going through my hair and there's like glue in my hair because like tried to put my horns on but it wasn't dry yet and now there's like glue in my hair. Oh, uh, Astron, thank you for the for the rainbow puke! Are you going to do Tsukishima? No! Okay, so like literally I take back what I said. Oikawa is, it wasn't the only character I didn't like. I really, really don't like Tsuki. I really don't like him. Like, I mean, I love the cosplayers, and I love the cosplays, but as a character, I just plainly do not like him. He's like the only character I would never cosplay. Are you going to Comic-Con? Hell to be, yeah. If it, if, it, if it goes, like if we're still on for Comic-Con, then yes, definitely. Lyra. Did you like one? Why is this not working? Um, uh, what, what my studies were, I answer in English because otherwise the others can't understand, but um, I studied international leisure management, so basically that means I um, was part of organizing events, like for example Lowland, Tomorrowland, um, stuff like that, and a lot of like marketing and social media. Um, but the moment I finished my studies, I started my own company and I didn't Eat. do anything with my um, degree. So, yeah. Why is it not working? Eat. Go back. What is the 20 second? Mineta and Aizawa and Deborah. <laughs> you have a weird choice. I mean, Aizawa is. I like Aizawa. Oh, you're going to Dokumi as Haikyuu. Oh, that is awesome. I'm really excited for the movies coming out this year as well. Why did you sell your Hinata wig? Um, at some point, I have a lot of like wig tutorials on my Instagram, so like if you have time, you should check them out because they are really worth watching. Because um, it really explains like step by step. It's it's a step by step tutorial with pictures and stuff like that. Um, but I think they are useful, and it also shows different wigs that look a little like the one of Hinata. Oh. Oh, that's gonna be fun. That's gonna be Heike is gonna take over Dokumi, I'ma tell you that much. Hey, hey, hey! Your kudo is so cool, thank you! I'm getting in the mood for Dokumi. Oh my, I got some bats. Um, my age is actually my bio, I am 27. Oh yeah? <laughs> mm, Todoroki. Thank you, sir. I love the opening. My favorite opening is Fly High. But I like this one too. I just love how everybody is like, oh yeah? Oh yeah, oh yeah? Are you going to do a cosplay breakdown? Well, I um, yesterday I announced that I will be working together with um, Nerd Blender. Nerd Blender is a platform that provides content of other creators. Um, and I will be doing different breakdowns on there for cosplay, for like um, how to start a cosplay, how to make costumes, um, photo shoots, working in cosplay. So I will do a lot, a lot, a lot of different kind of videos on there. 
I love your hair. It looks so fluffy. It is all over the place. It is. Like, I don't even... I, I woke up this morning and I was like, no, nah, we're not doing anything with it. Let's just go. Baki, baki me. Oh, oh, man. Don't put that song in my head because I'm going to go home and my brother is going to be so annoyed with me because like, I've been singing that non-stop like, for days. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> How long are you gonna go live? Well, I'm gonna have to stop uh, soon because I need to clean up and finish some stuff before I go home. Now that's stuck in your head, yeah. It, the baki baki is gonna be stuck in your head the whole day. How can you speak English so good? Um, honestly, I was always really interested in languages. I wish I spoke more. Um, but I watched a lot of like television in English with Dutch subtitles so that I could really place what they were saying. Um, I've also lived in England for a year and in America for a year. Oh, thank you, Sid! Love your Kudo Kemba CMV. Thank you! Go, go, let's go, let's go, tate go! <laughs> La persona más bella del mundo en vivo. Hola, mi amor, ¿cómo estás? Do you speak French? No, I um, I I should because I've studied it seven years, but I can understand it. But when I speak back, I get nervous, so I don't dare to uh, speak it. No. <sighs> I think I was 21, 20, no, 22, maybe? You're so welcome. Your voice is pretty odd. Thank you. En España está lloviendo a mares, de verdad. Aquí hace un calor que te cagas, vamos. What's your overall favorite anime? Um, I don't know. Right now, I just really like Haikyuu because it brings a lot of like a... I love this opening. Hope you have an amazing day too, sweetie. Uh, thank you, Astro, for the love band. Big love. <laughs> Where did you learn Spanish? Well, my mom is Spanish, so I'm half half. I love your cosplay, so you're so amazing. Thank you. Thank you. You guys are so sweet. Good day, sir. I love you. Um, I think this one is Phoenix, right? Yeah, it's Phoenix. Muchísimas gracias, José. En realidad es por vosotros, porque vosotros me dais la motivación y el amor y el apoyo para hacer todo esto. Oh my God, all the. <sighs> what? Um, wait, wait. I skip. What book and hair character would dress as a wasp and never stop? That would be Hawks, for real. Like, but he would be more a bee, not really a wasp, but. Thank you. I'm completely addicted to Haikyuu. But now to you too. Aww, uh, I am addicted to Haikyuu too, so we share that. Es sin Kami siempre que lanzaras en YouTube. Um, no, es sin Kami solo estará en YouTube porque son, or, or en uh, Patreon porque son Patreon exclusives, pero tendremos otro sin Kami más tarde en YouTube. Uno diferente. I found you from the Demon Crew and I'm glad I got to see you live since you're so sweet. Aww. I love you. <laughs> I have laughed so hard because like people have started following me because of Demon Kuda and then I went live and they're like, you're a woman? I'm like, yeah. I hate to disappoint, but yeah. Aw, okay. uh, thank you Grey Lander for the rainbow puke. Si alguien se mete contigo, le golpeas con todo lo que tienes detrás. Hombre, le doy uno buen fuerte con este, vamos. Mm -hmm. 
You inspire me a lot to look better in my cosplay. I hope to be as good. Oh, thank you, Ellie Mackey. I'm sure you're awesome and you got this. <laughs> Um, do you have any advice on making Reinhardt's skeleton for armor? Um, Google. <laughs> I'd say Google. I can give you all the advice of the world, but I think the best advice is, is to Google different cosplayers that made it, because um, a lot of them have tutorials about it, or already have patterns that you can buy online, which helps a lot. <laughs> Never disappointing. Aw, Austin, you're such a sweetheart. By the way, I just wanted, I've been wanting to do this for the longest time. Realized I wasn't following you yet on TikTok, so we fixing that. There we go. Wait, what? Um, Wait, what? 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 Wait, Pero la verdad es que no, no hay nada que odio en cosplay. Me encanta todo. Cada parte de ella es diferente y bueno en su manera. Every time I speak in Spanish, I love it though. My face goes. Yeah, because like I need I need subtitles. Like I need to be subtitled underneath. Like TikTok has to. My opening. I love this opening with a burning passion. I'm sure I'm not the only one, but... Okay, um... Aw, oh, Eston, thank you! Yay, I never need all that anymore! Me encanta Ships in Cami y pensé que solo hablabas inglés. No, también hablo español, lo que pasa es que intento hablar más en inglés porque si no la gente no me entiende. You want to learn French? I can teach you, you with pleasure. I know a little bit, but not a lot. So you can teach me anytime. Um, the only thing I can understand from your Spanish is YouTube and cosplay. <laughs> no, you aren't. I love it too. It is. It is the best thing. By the way, reminder: this is being. Re I forgot that. Oh my god! All this stupidness and craziness. You got it on. Um, on, on, on recording. Okay. <laughs> Thank you, Astron. We did great, dude. <laughs> Kisses from Brazil. Kisses back. You can speak Spanish? Yeah, my mom is Spanish, so I was uh, raised bilingual, I was raised in, uh, in Dutch and Spanish, and then I learned English as I grew up. We agreed, dude. Yeah, we did! I forgot about that, but like, I, I love it though, because it's really cool that you do that. I feel really honored that you would put the work in that. I get so motivated by this song, like, I don't know, it doesn't even matter what I'm saying, but it feels like I'm saying something so motivational because the song is playing and it's just like, oh! I can order beer and wine in Spanish. Well, that's all you need to know, honey. I'm proud <laughs> of you. <laughs> Ooh, but first I thought you spoke different languages. Yeah, I, I speak a few different languages, but... I always try to keep it in English because I know a lot of you don't speak Dutch or Spanish. You put my art in your story, me crying so hard and I don't know what I should feel. You should feel so proud because it is beautiful and I feel so honored that you would draw us. Like, that you would draw, take the time to draw that. Like, bless you. Greetings from Germany. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> like some some of you are crazy, but I love it. I was just talking about this yesterday. Like every time I post a video, like there's so many creative content or co comments that when I look at the video, the video is not necessarily that funny, but the comments are just hilarious. You don't want this life to end. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm staying a little bit longer, but. Double 
Soy de Brasil y no entiendo mucho inglés, pero veo a muchas personas que disfrutan mucho su trabajo. Oh, muchísimas gracias. Esa nota es súper, súper feliz. Hablo, hablo español también, lo que pasa es que intento dejarlo en inglés porque no hay mucha gente que habla, que habla español. Entonces... How are you so awesome? Well, um, how are you awesome? I mean, you guys are more awesome, most awesome English. Ha! Huh? <laughs> Hola, soy Dora. Oh, do you guys? Oh, you have no idea. I was actually, I was at the Dora premiere. I was asked by Nickelodeon to stand there as Dora in cosplay. Um, you know, like the 16-year-old Dora. So I was officially working for Nickelodeon for the Dora premiere, and because I speak Spanish, it was also like a whole thing. So it's like, oh, hola, soy Dora, y hoy vamos a explorar muchos, muchos diferentes sitios. And I was, it was like. Mm, it was so crazy. It was, I can't because you know I started making videos of Dora on um, on TikTok and they were not so good because it was like I would say like, "Hola, soy Dora," and today I'm gonna teach you Spanish. The first word that you want to know is "cabrón," which means asshole. And then Nickelodeon saw that, and they were like, "Yeah, we want to hire you for the movie, but you can't make those videos." I'm like, "Fair point. Fair point." Miss Melissa, I love you. Welcome to the live stream. I'm trying to go through the comments and just suddenly saw you pop up. So like, hi. Saludos desde Colombia. Eres la mejor. Muchísimas gracias, mi amor. There are any games you want to cosplay from, not including Overwatch? Um, I'm working on something from League of Legends right now. Um, I'm always really open to games because I love game characters, so I've cosplayed a lot of game characters right now. I'm also working on Valorant, um, Jad from Valorant. Nice. So like, yeah, there's a lot of game characters that I'm, uh, I'm working on. Los que hablan español no entienden inglés y los que hablan inglés no entienden español mutuo. Sí, es verdad. Lo que pasa es que hay más gente que no entiende español uh, en mi live streams que gente que, uh, que no entiende inglés. Entonces, por eso lo hago en inglés. <laughs> You're not late. It's okay. Je suis curo de, de Haikyuu. Je suis curo de Haikyuu. But, but, but I'm not in curo though, right now. You know, okay, um, so story time. I, I think I've told this already on the live stream, but I'm gonna tell you guys again. Um, so I travel a lot around the world when we didn't have Corona yet, um, to different events, to do meet and greets with everyone, and to just um, host cosplay panels and stuff. Um, oh, Daichiro, thank you. That's three. That's so sweet. You're so sweet. Uh, Four. Huh? Um, so, but I, I, was, I was, I was in the middle of it. Stop that! Daichiro, what are you doing? Oh my goodness. Okay, um, I, I, I'm trying to... I, I'm trying to tell a story and I, I can't. I just, I don't even... Okay, okay, back to it. <laughs> Thank you, Daichiro. Um, so, I used to travel a lot around the world, do competitions and stuff, and we were selected to represent our country in, um, in Paris, I think it was, yeah, in France. Um, so every country I go to, I always talk to the people there and I'm like, hey, you guys got to teach me something from your language. But I want it to be like some kind of meme or something funny, you know, um, and I want to remember that. So every country I go to, like whether it was Egypt, Japan, Spain, like England, whatever, they would teach me something that was really like meme or like very from their country. So when I was in, in France, they told me something and it was, allez la chat. And I was like, hey, that sounds fun. I had no idea what it meant. Um, so I told my team, I'm like, hey, you know what? We should go on stage and just do that because it's a French meme. They will probably know what it is. Now, mind you, this is a competition um, that is live streamed, broadcasted, and sent out on television and everything worldwide with, I don't know, I think about 40,000 people watching at the event itself and then broadcasted worldwide. And we went on stage and we walked up to the front and we were like, Allez, la chat! Only to me to find out that it means pussy. I mean, they will forever remember me, and they have a lot of love towards me because I made a complete fool out of myself on international television. Um, but yeah, so story. It was uh, it was interesting. It was very interesting. 
Oh, oops, I'm really behind on comments, sorry. Oh, you guys are, you are, oh. Okay, I'm so behind on comments. Sorry, sorry, sorry. <laughs> Rewind and try again. Yeah, it was like my, my brain just stopped functioning at that point. Oh, oh no, that I know what that means. Yeah, it, it, yeah. I mean, it was interesting. Now, still, when I have like French followers um, that from, from back then and they see me at conventions, they will go, Allez, la chat, and I will just do it back because, like, at this point, I don't even care anymore. I'm known as the pussy, so, like, I'm fine. <laughs> it's fine. Do you know the meme that they taught you in Spanish? Well, in Spain, I was the only country that I didn't ask because I am Spanish, so I could just speak to them in Spanish. <laughs> ik, ik kan Nederlands, ja, ik kan ook gewoon Nederlands. Maar ik praat altijd Engels in mijn livestreams omdat er meer mensen in zitten die geen Nederlands of Spaans praten. So therefore, I speak in English. I feel so bad for you. Well, I mean, no, it's my own fault, I guess. I mean, I, it wasn't bad because I got invited time after time to, to France because, like, you know, they were like, it's okay, it's fun. Like, you, you didn't do it in a bad way or whatever, so it was good. You're from Brazil? That's so cool. <laughs> Yeah, um, so I am Dutch, Spanish, and I speak English as well. Like, a lot of you seem to be really surprised about the different languages. Hey, hey, hey! The only thing I understood there was, therefore I speak English. Yeah, well, I was just explaining that because my live stream has mostly um, people that don't speak either Dutch or Spanish, I try to do everything in English because that language is the most understood language, I guess. It sounds weird, but your English sounds better than your Dutch. I get really awkward speaking in Dutch, even though it's like my mother tongue. It's actually my father tongue, because my father is Dutch, um, and my mom is Spanish, but yeah. I don't like speaking in, in Dutch, like in live streams. Oh yeah, oh yeah? <laughs> Do I know African? No, I don't. I actually don't. It's supposed to be similar to Dutch, I think, but... Hello, Ali. How are you doing? Most people speak English. Yeah, that's true. That's why we do the live stream in English. Did you travel to Cyprus? No, I haven't yet. I haven't. There's a few places that a place that I haven't been in, been to yet, which I'm hoping to do once Corona is over. Um, ¿Cómo puedes pronunciar esa palabra en portugués? Eu amo a you. Is that how you say it? Show your props. I have a lot of props. I can show you one of here. Hold on. This one I actually made for a, a competition in France as well. So I had to travel to France for to represent the Netherlands on my own. Um, and this is part of that of the costume that I made for that. It's made out of EVA foam. All of it. So also even even the chains is EVA foam, which is like really really cool. I really enjoyed making this. Side, so that you can see it. Oh, oops. Missed that uncommon. Sorry. Tips on drawing. Wow, that's been a long time. I used to teach drawing. Um, it's hard to give just general tips. Like, I can give uh, tips on specific topics, but like, but I, I always love you guys for like asking questions, but when you ask a question like on getting tips on something, for me it is very important that you ask um, a specific tip because I can't really give a very general tip because it won't be useful. So like if it is for example on cosplay, like how to make something, then I can give you a tip. If you just want advice on cosplay, it's really hard for me to know what you want advice on. So when you ask for advice, it's all good, but try to be a bit more specific about what you would like to have advice on so that I can really actually give useful advice. Um, 
props on the props. Yeah, I had so many props in my workshop. Which languages do you speak? I speak Dutch, English, and Spanish. Aw, oh, thank you. I'm so glad that you guys like my hair. Yeah, COVID, COVID is doing something with us, but I have to say it also brought a lot of people back together, like closer together this year, so. How to draw a face? Okay, so like the, the easiest way for me that I believe, like that I found to use, hold on, is, so you start off for faces, you start off with a circle. Um, I'm, I'm literally just gonna give like drawing tips right now, but that's just how it is. Um, so what I would then do is depending on where the face is like going to be, um, looking at like if it's looking at the front you you draw a line in the middle because that's how you're gonna like define where it's looking at um, so you do halfway the circle and then halfway the circle again and that gives like a little bit of beginning for the face and then like if it's like anime style and stuff it's the easiest like that and then you make like a small like line downwards and there as well and with just those steps, you already have like the outline of a face. I don't know if you can see it, but like, and then you start just drawing in, putting like li little boxes to where you want the eyes and you want the mouth, how, where you want the ears and stuff like that. I have so many tutorials on it a long time ago because I used to teach art, um, but they are gone now. In a live stream like this, it's really hard to give advice like that in such a short period of time, but. Um, I think even on my Facebook there's step-to-step -step tutorials as well about art. I can see if I can find them and post them on my story on Instagram as um, Yeah, for you guys who are interested because I've done art for a long long time <laughs> Have you ever played Mystic Messenger? Hell yes. I loved Mystic Messenger but What cosplay would you do next? I'm doing a ton of cosplays at the moment. Um, I'm working on Demon Bokuto because we need that for the video. I'm working on Jinx, I'm working on Hots, I'm working on um, Jet from Valoran, I'm working on Syndra from Pool Party from uh, Syndra from um, League of Legends. Um, what else am I working on? I think that's, that's it for now, I'm not sure. I've already cosplayed Hinata from Haikyuu. <laughs> you guys are so sweet. Um, I haven't been to Cyprus yet. I would love to go to Cyprus one day. Oh no, I live in the Netherlands. I live in the Netherlands, but I've lived in America. Um, we're moving to America if all goes well uh, next year, November. We were going to go this year, November, but uh, for a year. But then Corona happened, so we couldn't. <laughs> Demon Kira is so creative. Aw, thank you. Did you watch Demon Slayer? Hell yeah, I even cosplayed a few of the of the characters in Demon Slayer. I'm totally in love with your earring. Oh, thank you. It's really funny because I have matching earrings with Deska. Um, she has this one on the other side and this one on that side, so it's like a best friend token. Um Aw, thank you, Mauchi, you're so sweet. Have you ever been to Curaçao? No, I have not. I have not. I would love to go, though. Mm -hmm. Which anime is your favorite? Um, At the moment, I would say Haikyuu and Boku no Hero Academy. I was always a big fan of uh, One Piece as well, um, but it became too many chapters and I stopped watching. Um, but yeah. Um, I got this one, I think it was from Wish, a long time ago. It's really warm here, yeah, it's really, really, really warm here as well. Like, I'm sweating. I was crafting and I just, like, I got too, too tired. <laughs> I love your tattoo, thank you! Those are your favorites too? Aw, thank you! That's so- oh, thank you. I was- I said thank you. Uh, awesome. I am tired, you guys. I'm just trying to keep up with all the comments and, like... Did you watch? Attack on Titan- Yo! That anime? Like, I- it was the first anime I actually watched with my brother. Because my brother doesn't really look- watch anime. 
Um, and I told him, like, you're gonna like Attack on Titan because, you know, it's like kind of gore and stuff and it's like very hardcore. Um, and we started watching and we watched season one and season two and we were like completely in love with it. Um, it's a good anime, but like, it's, it's like, it's badass. What is your favorite My Hero Academia ship? I don't really have a specific favorite. Um, I like a lot of them. I, I am a multi shipper, so. What does your tattoo mean? Um, so my tattoo is a tattoo that I have with my siblings. Um, I was always really scared of needles and I didn't want to get tattoos because like, you know, I was like, you know, I do a lot of modeling and stuff and I, I didn't want to have to hide it. Um, but like when my sister got married last year, um, it was, there was a possibility that it was the last time that we would all be together because like my sister was moving to the US, my other sister is in the Netherlands, I was moving to different places as well. So we were like, okay, as a, as a like, kind of like last gift we wanted to get the same tattoo all of us together so my two sisters and my brother um my other two sisters have it on the same place and my brother has it on the inside of his arm um and they're literally all of our um zodiac signs so my older sister is a twin i'm a libra my younger sister is a leo and my younger brother is cancer can you say features well features <laughs> Seiji baby! Okay, for those of you who do not know Seiji yet, you gotta go follow Seiji Cost because they are the Bokuto to my Kuro in the SWAT videos and I, I just love Seiji. I love you baby. Yeah, I hope the band doesn't stick because like if it would be so bad if like TikTok gets banned. It would be so sad because most of you are from like the US so I would lose a lot of you guys. That would be really sad. <laughs> hey Tinker, how you doing baby? If you're moving to America, maybe your TikTok account gets banned. Um, that is true. I mean, if, if TikTok gets banned, it would, I would have to reconsider my, my plans because TikTok is a really, really big part of my life. Um, and so therefore it would really ruin a big part of my business if i can't do tiktok in america um so let's hope it doesn't happen oh. <laughs> i love your kuro cosplay thank you what's my favorite food my favorite food is polla al ajillo which is literally chicken with a lot of garlic <laughs> sucker i love you i love you too baby you're my waifu No, I don't speak German. I'm terrible at German. Oh god. It's getting warm. Um I don't there's always been in the Netherlands like this thing about bottled and freak. I don't I don't I don't know the difference. Like for me it's uh, the same thing, I guess. As so so many people are gonna hate me for this. I am so sorry. No, in the Netherlands, TikTok is not going to get banned, but they're talking about banning it in America. Oh, you're so sweet. Have you watched Hunter x Hunter? No, I can't bring myself to watch it. Deska is a huge fan of it, and she's always like, you gotta watch it, you gotta watch it, but I started it and I didn't like it. Um, and, and I just can't bring myself to watch it again. Do you speak Spanish? Yes, I do speak Spanish. <laughs> um, I think I think I call it frit. I think I think we we call it frit at my house. I don't know. Oh, we have Kenma you'll do that. I am looking forward to that. They ban it here. I'll have to move. Well, you can just come and live in the Netherlands because like we got the good stuff here. <laughs> The south says frit and the north says patat. So, I mean, I'm from the south. I was born in Rotterdam, though, but like, I live in Bergenzoom, so like. <laughs> A fan from Wales. Oh, I've been in Wales. I love Wales. 
Oh my god, I love your dimples. Thank you. <laughs> it will come in September. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I hope they can fix it, I guess. I'll move there then. Yes, yes, move here. Rose, still going. Yes, I'm still going. I was going to go live for a short time, but you know, I don't know what happened. You, I'm just having too much fun, I guess. <laughs> also, I'm so tired and I just keep rambling, but like, I don't know. I'm, I'm just having a good time, okay? <laughs> Aww, I really need to go to Italy like next year. I had a convention planned in Italy for like this year, but then Corona. So that sucks, but maybe, maybe when everything starts up again. I'm um, living in the Netherlands. Really, today. Jasmine, you're so sweet. From Australia? Oh, that is so cool. That's definitely a country I want to visit. How are you doing today? I'm doing great. I'm doing great. I hope you guys are doing good too. Big cosplayers are coming to your stream. Um, I mean, yeah, Rose is like the like most amazing person I know so yes <laughs> I'm always really happy when she joins my stream because like you guys don't know but I appreciate her so much like okay that's like I just Rose I'm just gonna put you in the sun sunshine spotlight I don't know you, how you call this but it is so hard to find people that are genuinely supportive of you and genuinely ha genuinely happy for the things that you do and that you achieve and Rose is definitely one of them. I've never met someone who is so supportive, so kind. Um, it's, it's crazy. So like if you're not following Rose, like I will come for you because like Rose is awesome. Okay, that's it. That's, that's my moment of motivation. Thank you. Love from Germany, you guys are so cute. Oh, your patchwork! Oh, I know you from the edit. That was such a cool edit, though. I love that. I love your demon kudo so much. You guys are so sweet. You're one of my favorite cosplays. I love you. Rose, you're blushing? Oh, good. Good. That was my aim for today, so I'm happy that I made that happen. Do you like Quinton Height? I love Quinton Height. That dude is, like, so creative. I, I always have a good time watching his videos. Your hair said, thank you. Aw, oh, Jacob, thank you. You're so sweet. Astron, I agree. Rose is freaking amazing. Rose really is freaking amazing. Ya miraste su eater. Um, vi parte de ella, pero no la terminé, pero algún día lo terminaré. You put Rose in the spotlight so much, but it's 100% deserved though, yes. Uh, I, I'll tell you, I've had many, many, many friendships, and everybody is amazing, and I love, I love people in general, um, but I've never met a person that is so supportive, um, just in general. And I just, I think that that should be said, because it is very exceptional, especially for people in the same um, branch and in the same, like, um, working field. Um, it gets really competitive. I've noticed it because I've been in this field for like six years um, and I've noticed with, with different people that I worked with that it gets really competitive and that's hard. It's hard. And with Rose, it's never, it's never like that. Rose is always super supportive. When something happens, she's genuinely happy for me and that is something that, that I feel like we should all have because in the end of the day, this industry is already an industry that is difficult to be in. Um, and we are already a bit of outsiders, so we need to support each other because like together you'll grow much faster and it is a lot more fun. I am so sorry, Rose. I'm so putting you out there. <laughs> Oopsie. Um, yeah, so I'm gonna continue now. I love your TikTok and since I first saw you. Ah, uh, really? Okay, well that makes me, um... Thank you. I appreciate it. Maiden Aries, Maiden Aries, we made an agreement. You were not allowed to give gifts anymore. Because I don't want you to be broke, so don't. Um, 
some episodes of Demon Pact on YouTube for those who can't pay. Well, we have part one of Demon Pact on YouTube. Part two is um, on Patreon. So I'm, I'm explaining a little bit because I get this question a lot and, and I totally understand that. So that's why I want to talk about it a little bit. Um, we will have several chapters of Demon Pact. Demon Pact is going to have, for what we thought out for now already, um, eight different episodes. Um, but it's going to be one episode on YouTube every time and one episode on Patreon. The reason for that being two, diff two very important reasons. One, um, in order to create what we create, we need to make money because we can't we, we need to pay bills. Um, for us, cosplay is a full-time job, so Patreon is for us a way to be able to continue doing the work that we do. Obviously, we're not asking you guys to, to pay for, for all of that and stuff, but um, it's a way for us to like continue doing what we can. So if you can't pay, obviously it's not a problem. We're still posting on YouTube as well, but that's why we post on Patreon and some of the videos are exclusive to Patreon so that we can make money to create more of the things that we're doing. Second very important reason why it's on Patreon and not on uh, YouTube for some parts is because it is spicy. Um, meaning that if we would put it on YouTube, it would get demonetized. Um, so that would be bad. <laughs> we don't want our channel to be demonetized, we don't want our videos to be demonetized, which is why the spicy videos go up on um, Patreon and the not so spicy videos and storyline, more storyline videos go on to YouTube. I hope that explains a little bit. <laughs> You're so cute. Aw, thank you. Is it hard when you need to make props? Well, sometimes yes. Um, sometimes I really struggle and I make five mistakes. Um, I have to start all over again. But I think it's part of the process. Like, we, none of us make everything perfect. Like, you, you are supposed to make mistakes. Like, I have one rule uh, when making a costume. It's like three. You will have three mistakes with every costume. Doesn't matter how professional you are, how experienced you are, you will at least three mistakes, whether they're small or big. If you haven't had all three mistakes and you're not done yet, it will come. And it's okay, because it happens, that's how we learn. But that's like my, my, my rule, like, I always know this is gonna happen, like I always know there's at least three mistakes, sometimes more, but, um, but yeah, it's normal. Like, you don't have to be afraid to like make mistakes and stuff like that. <laughs> Astron Souls and Maiden Irish, you two are. I love you guys. Yeah, spicy. So that's why we post it on uh, Patreon. Um, and of course, on Patreon, there's exclusive TikTok um, photos as well. We're building a community now. We haven't. We we're gonna be a lot more active once we have the house and stuff because then this kind of are actually together and we're gonna be spamming. Patreon with videos behind the scenes and stupid stuff that we do. We're actually thinking about setting up cameras around the house because like, because we can. <laughs> Matoi! Yes, I do know Matoi! I love Matoi! You're the sweetest. I'm joining your Patreon. Oh, that is so cool! Um, I personally, I have a YouTube, but I don't use my YouTube as much. The YouTube that we're using for Demon Spectre and all of that is Deska's YouTube. So it's Deska Cosplay uh, on YouTube. Deska with a C. So D-E-S-C-A Cosplay. Um, and you can find most of the videos there. Whoa, whoa, hold on, what? I'm like trying to figure out why this- I suddenly saw Power Bottom, I'm like, what? Um... Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. People clearly don't know you're a top. They, they, they... You know, you, oh. Rose, you and Deska screwed me over with that stupid test. Cause like, I had to do that test like several times and it keeps giving me Power Bottom. And, and, so Deska and Rose both know that I am not, I am not the bottom. I mean, not with with Deska or with Rose or whatever, definitely a top. But now because I did that test, like everybody's like, no, you're just, a, you're just a power bottom, you're a bready bottom. And I'm just like, okay, <laughs> well, that's just how it is now. Hmm. <laughs> That's like, my face is going full concentration mode when I'm trying to read the comments, so it goes from smiling to like, 
<laughs> no, Ramus, I'm not a power bottom. Get out of here. Um, the videos on YouTube, no, the videos on YouTube are PG-13, most of them. Um, the trailers are different, but that's trailers for, like, uh, Patreon, so that's why we put the spicy stuff behind a paywall and stuff so that it stays there and it doesn't go on YouTube. And we might have some, at some point, a little bit more spicy content on YouTube, um, Especially when we start working with Rose, because that is that should be for YouTube and not for Patreon, because like I want to showcase everything that we make with her. Um, so yeah, but we're gonna have to see how we how we do that. Um. <laughs> we'll see in person. Oh yeah. Oh, you're gonna out top me. I'm very curious about this, Mr. Uh, Hawks. I mean. You did choose the right character to cosplay with me, because like if you're gonna be Hawks, I'm gonna be Dabby and you know who's top. <laughs> the only the only one that I am like dreading though and Kaminari, because I can't do Shinzo for the life of me. Like I don't have that 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 energy and you're a beautiful Shinzo, so So that's gonna be interesting. <laughs> Sad I gotta go, so won't have a full recording, but we'll post what I have later. Yeah, that's all good, baby. Thank you so much for recording these live streams. Like, I love that. I, I appreciate you a lot. So, thank you also for being here, Astron. You're amazing. I love you. Is Saku Switch? Yeah, I think that is more what I'm coming up. What? 